Today we're talking about a keyboard that I've only ever heard stories about but never tried until recently. And ladies and gentlemen, today I present to you the grandmaster of them all, the Rook to E5 checkmate, game over, Bobby Fischer finale of keyboards, or Yoshi Haru Habu if you play Shogi. That is the Real Force RGB from Top Rank. Welcome back to Tech City. This is Brian coming to you guys today with a premium keyboard, one that features the top ray electrostatic capacitor switches and RGB backlighting. Now, if you thought it didn't get any better than Cherry MX blues, clears, or greens, or any other switch you are using with feedback, then you would be mistaken. Ever longed for better feedback and less noise on a switch than blues? Well, this is what you're going to get with a top ray real force capacitor switch. The keys are simply phenomenal to type on and putting the keyboard on my desk and running a type racer test I hit 114 words per minute on my first turn. Not only this, but this was on the fastest actuation setting too. And with that I will run a quick noise test for you guys. I quite literally could feel the text coming up on the screen before I was even bottoming out on the keys, something I haven't even experienced on a Cherry MX Red. In other words, this would not only be awesome for people typing for long sessions and streamers wanting to keep the noise down, but also competitive gamers looking for that extra edge on their opponents. As I alluded to before with the fastest actuation setting, the new top rate capacitor switch allows you to change the actuation points on the fly, from 3mm to 2.2mm, it's all the way to 1.5mm, with the 1.5mm setting being suited for gamers who are at the utmost top of their game and need the fastest actuations possible. And of course the 3mm setting being for savages like myself who need forgiveness and make a lot of mistakes when typing. Though with this innovation I've never heard of this from a keyboard before and it's things like this to set top ray in a league of their own when it comes to keyboards. Though it doesn't just stop there, they have also implemented a 1000Hz native polling rate and have included an easy to use software suite. The program not only allows you to utilize extra lighting settings, but also control individual key backlighting and moreover control individual actuation points on every single key. Then after that you can save everything to a custom profile and change it on the fly as well. Really straightforward and simple. Though even if you don't like the software you can still control the lighting and actuation points still manually from the keyboard itself. Lastly, another cool feature related to the lighting was that you can change the colors on even the little num, cap, scroll, and key lock keys to anything you like. Now onto the hardware itself where things only get better. It features double shot PBT keygaps for that extra durability and slightly heavier feel when typing. Not only that, the stability of the keys are incredible. The consistency across every key is spot on and the rugged matte gunmetal gray look just looks pronto. I mean, I quite simply can't fanboy this switch and keyboard enough. And even then, I wouldn't be fanboying. I'm just being honest with you. Though I will quickly point out that there is no included wrist rest and no included keycap puller, which I would have liked to have seen both included if possible. Though after pulling off the keycaps, you can see that the electrostatic charge membrane keys work a little bit different to other switches that you may be familiar with. I like to think of it as combining the best of both worlds to give you a key that is quite simply awesome. Also, the full end key rollover claims seem legit too which when I did a spam test, it did indeed work really well, at least for my 10 fingers running over half the keyboard at one time. I quite simply couldn't press any more and the keyboard held up perfectly fine. Looking at the construction of the keyboard, it is rigid and weighs in at around 1264 grams with a combination of metal and hard plastic used throughout the keyboard. Moving on to the bottom of the keyboard, it features four grips on the corners and an adjustable lever to give you two different levels of height. Looking at the RGB backlighting from a hardware side of things, the lights have an aura type lighting effect that reflects off the metallic coated backplating, which also helps contribute to that consistency when typing. The keys have a very subtle serif font and there's also volume keys included at the top right of the keyboard. Next to that is the actuation key to make this a 108 cap keyboard in total. So everything sounds perfect thus far, though there is that little price factor that is lingering in the room. And that is if you are in the US then this keyboard will set you back about 289 USD. Or if you're in Oz you can currently get this keyboard for around 330 AUD, which comes in cheaper than the US price in relative comparison. Also the keyboard is about 28,000 yen in Japan and is interestingly enough currently the number one selling keyboard in Japan online. 
above any other price keyboard. So I guess I'm not the only one that shares this same sentiment about the top rate keyboard. So expensive it may be, but it will probably be the best keyboard you would have ever have typed on and now game on if you're a pro gamer. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this review and if you did, then be sure to slip us a like and let us know in the comments section below, have you ever typed on a top rate keyboard before? If so, what was the experience like? And I'll catch you guys in another tech video very soon. Peace out for now. Bye. Whack about a keyboard, then let us know in the questions or comments. Ah. So. Most difficult review ever. Cars. Cars. And more cars. Oh, 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 oh,